Hey guys, it's been a long, long time since I've been on this channel, but I'm back and I have this fun idea that I thought of literally today, the day that I'm filming this, to do a whole week of Valentine videos. So I want to start today, which is going to be Saturday for you guys watching this video, because I want an entire seven days of Valentine videos. So I'm going to be starting today, not Friday, which would be yesterday for you guys, because I want to end exactly on Valentine's Day and have a cute, really simple eye look for that day, just to end it off on a little easy note that everyone can do, that everyone can use if you want to go out that night and use that look, or use any of the looks that I posted before, that's how it goes. So I'm going to stop rambling, and before we start into the video, I want to thank you for watching, thank you for clicking, hope you stay for the whole video, and then you subscribe down below, turn on that notification bell, because I said before, I'm going to be posting all week, I'm going to be trying to post consistently after this week, comment down below, comment anything you want, comment if you love Valentine's Day, if you hate Valentine's Day, if you love the colors of Valentine's Day, if you don't like the colors of Valentine's Day, and anything else that you want to comment. You can also follow me on Instagram. I'm also pretty active on that account. And then my Twitter, which will all be the same. I'm going to list it somewhere this side or this side, either one. And then that's about it. So let's hop into this video. So to start off this video, I have my eyebrows done. I just used the Anastasia Brow Definer in Ebony to do my brows. And then I primed my eyes with the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. And to do this look, I'm going to be using the Blood Sugar Palette from Jeffree Star because this palette basically it captures the whole season of Valentine's Day. The whole month of February is basically this palette. And he released this for Valentine's Day, so what better palette to use for the first day in my Valentine Week videos than this iconic palette. So to start off this look, I'm going to be using this brush. It is a e.l.f. X Nabella Noir brush. And then I'm going to dip into the shade Cherry Soda, which is going to be this one right here. And I'm going to start by putting it in my crease and winging it out. Now, I'm not going to bring it all the way inside because I don't want to have all the color in there. So I'm just going to go until about right here, like a fourth of my eye left, bare, and just blend this out like that. I'm going to take the same brush. I'm going to wipe it off. I'm just going to come into that shade Tongue Pop, which is right above it. This one right here, and then blend out this look. And with that shade Tongue Pop, I'm going to take it and blend it all the way up into the front of my eye look. Now to deepen, now to deepen up this eye look, I'm going to take a pointed brush just like this. This is from Morphe. And I'm going to use the shade Extraction just to add a little bit of depth and also add another color that's not just red. It is more of a purple plumish, dark plum shade. And I'm using that to define what I want as my crease. So I'm just taking the same brush that I started with, and I'm taking that shade Cherry Soda again, just to blur the line of where I packed extraction into the rest of the colors that I'm using. So when I blend it, I usually go in small circular motions because it meshes the colors together rather than just swiping back and forth. And you don't really have to apply too much pressure at this step. You can just lightly scratch the surface of your skin and it will still blend and look so seamless. So now with my eye color looking like this, very winged out, I am going to do like sort of a half cut crease, but then I'm going to wing the shadow back in and then almost do like a whole wing effect with the shadow, not a liner, onto my eye. Cut my crease and get a really nice lighter base. I'm using the Anastasia Eye Primer. I'm going to squeeze a little bit on the back of my hand, wait for it to dry down just a little bit so that it's a more tacky, thicker consistency, and then pat it onto my lid. And to pat it onto my lid, I'm going to be using this tiny little Morphe brush. This is a Morphe M421. I really like this brush because I do have smaller lid space and I don't want to overtake too much and then have to work around that. I like to take a really small brush 
get really detailed and then pack all the rest on to my lid. So for this look, I'm going to be going all the way into my tear duct for the cut crease because I want that line going from here and winging out. I've been doing a lot more cut creases like that because, and it looks so much better on my eyes than trying to get them symmetrical. And it just lets me allow myself to have more room to play with when doing cut creases. So I did cut my crease. I didn't go all the way out because I said before like we're gonna cut it back in and make like a liner effect. So for my lid color, I'm going to be doing a all matte look and I would use the shimmers because in here they have so many beautiful shimmers, but I wanna really use this hot pink shade called Cavity and then I wanna mix it with like glucose and then Prick. So to get my shadows a little bit lighter from what they look like in the pan because it is a hot pink and like a hot red, I'm going to lay down glucose as my base onto the part of the lid that I cut for my crease and then after laying down a white, putting the other colors on top, I can mix it again with the white as I apply it, and then it'll give a little bit more of a pastel look. So with glue close laid down, I'm going to do, I'm gonna use cavity as the inner, and then in the middle, I'm gonna be using the shade prick. So by having that white base on the bottom and then mixing that pink shade cavity with glue close as I apply it, it creates this nice softer pink rather than just being a hot pink. And the nice thing about mixing shadows like this, if you want it more intense, you can just go with that color that you want. Or if you want to soften it, you can always add white on top of it and then mix it together. You can always intensify or detensify, if that's a word. You can always add more or take back when you do eyeshadow like this. That's the good thing about it is if you ever put too much, you can always tone it down. And if you need more, you can always amp it up. Because this is a little bit lighter than I want, I'm going to add a little bit of just the shade Cavity onto that and blend it in a little more. And then just from that, it adds a little bit more color that I want. I was going to use the shade Prick, but I changed my mind and I'm gonna use the shade Root Canal and I'm gonna do the same thing, blend Root Canal with Glucose just to make a light up purple and blend it into pink because when I do that outer corner, as I said before with that shade Extraction, it's a little bit more of like a plummy color. So it's gonna blend really nicely into that purple. So that's the look so far. As I said, I blended the pink into the purple and now that I finished what I want, I'm my lid, I'm going to come back in with that brush from Morphe that I used before, this one, and I'm going to take that shade extraction and then drag it back out from my crease definition line to make a wing. Now coming in with that first brush that I use, I'm just going to take the shade Cherry Soda and blend. Now you don't have to do this step necessarily right now, since we are going to drag the shadow from the top of our lid to like our bottom under eyes. So you don't really have to blend it right now, but I just want to do that because I want to have an idea of how much shadow I'm going to enlarge because I am going to connect the top to the bottom. So this is the whole eye look completed right now. I'm going to do this eye off camera. I'm going to do my whole base routine and then I'll be right back and we can finish up the under eyes, add some lashes, some liner, and then we're all good to go. So with my face makeup done, I'm going to just finish up my eyes, which is going to just consist of the under eyes and then making a liner and adding some lashes. I don't have my lips on right now, but if you want to know what I use for my base, I'm going to link every single product down below. It's going to be much quicker than me talking about it. So this is going to be the first look of my Valentine week. So let's get into the end of this look. I want to line my water lines with a dark color. I don't want to go straight to black. So I'm going to be using black coffee from Pat McGrath. It is a very dark brown. I'm just going to line both water lines and then we'll move on to the shadows. So since I have the same pencil out, I'm going to use that to line my top lash line. And I'm going to do this lining my eyes so that when I put my lashes on, it blends into my natural lash line. I'm not going to do anything fancy, no wings today, just using this. So with my liner completed, I'm just going to dip back into the palette. I'm going to be using mainly the same shades that I used in the first part of the video. So just to smoke out the outer corner of my lash line, I'm going to be using the same brush as before, dipping into that shade again, Extraction, and then keeping it on the outer portion of my eye. So then again, using that same brush, dipping into Cherry Soda, and blending all underneath my under eye. I then am going to connect this top wing to my bottom lash line. 
and then drag out that wing to my desired point length. So that's what the whole eye look is gonna look like completed. I'm just gonna finish up the other eye. So for my inner corners and my brow bone, I'm going to do like a really soft pink shimmer. Now I'm gonna be using this shade right here from the Mini Norvina Volume 3 palette. And although it looks white, when I apply it to my eyes, it's going to reflect more pink. And I really, really like this shade. I've used it before for a pink inner corner highlight and it looks bomb. So for my lash, I want to keep it nice and spiky. So I'm taking this lash from 808 Oahu Cosmetics. Shout out to them. They have a code with my Instagram name, Gucci Mink, which you can use on checkout for 5% off. It may not seem like a lot, but their prices are really affordable. So with that 5% off, you're saving coin on already affordable products, which is great. Shout out to them. Go follow them on Instagram, check out their website, or on Instagram, they do like craft fairs and stuff like that. So if you want to see them in person, check them out. They are also sold in Ben Franklin stores on Oahu. So if you want to get more lashes that are really affordable, 808 Oahu Cosmetics. I'm just going to quickly coat my lashes with some mascara and then I'm going to apply them and then scrub my lips, put on some lipstick, and then call this a look. So this is the completed look. I did add my lip color, which is ColourPop Lip Liner in Shot Clock, and then the lipstick in Viva Glam 2 from MAC. I really like doing a darker lip liner and then like a lighter lipstick combo. It just makes my lips look a little bit bigger. So this is the completed look. I added my bottom lashes to mimic spikiness of the top lashes, and then I did my lips. Uh, for the liner, I used Shot Clock from ColourPop, and then I put on MAC Viva Glam number no. 2 for the lip color. So that is my lip combo. I will also be posting, as I said before, for the whole week. So turn on that notification bell. If you're not subscribed, subscribe and then turn on the notification bell. Like this video if you want to see the rest of the week because I will be posting more videos with complex looks like this and also simple looks because Valentine's Day some people don't want to spend four hours getting ready. Some people want to go all out. So I'm going to give you guys a variety of videos. And follow me on Instagram, my Twitter. I do have a TikTok. I don't post much on that one. I think Instagram and Twitter will be my most active. So that is my entire look. I'm so excited to be kicking off a week and being back on YouTube. So yeah, I am going to leave it at that. And as always, love you the most.